One of the most difficult, frustrating, and maddening things to learn as an electrician is pipe bending. Yes, I feel your pain. It'll drive you crazy. It just got a little easier. How would you like to learn how to make better bends faster, more accurate, and cleaner? I got something to show you. It's called the Hoppy Bender. It's from Racketeers. And it's a game changer. It's going to help us to do everything I just told you with fewer headaches and fewer cuss words. So hang in there. I'm going to show you how this works. My name is Steve. I'm with Ask the Electrical Guy. I'm a licensed electrician. I've been bending pipe for years. It's a long process to learn how to do it. So if you've been doing any kind of pipe bending, you already know how this works. A typical bender, hand bender, looks like this without this little apparatus. It's got all the degree markings on it from 90 to 30 to 22 and a half to 45 and all the way down. To get a bend at a particular degree, you have to get the pipe on the ground and bend it until the hash mark that you want is parallel with the floor. Well, that can be a little tough when it's on the floor and you're six feet up in the air trying to look down at that thing to make sure it's right. Did you get 30 degrees or was it 29 degrees? Yeah, we hope it's good enough. That can be a real problem when you need bends to be just right. So this apparatus here is going to make all that guesswork go away. You're going to love this. Let's say that I want a perfect 30 degree bend. So I'm looking at my shoe here and there's my 30 and there's the little mark that says that's the 30. This is the game changer right here is a swing arm stop. And all you have to do if you look very closely you'll see the little arrow on this. Line it up with the 30 and tighten down this little thumb screw and now it's all set. Watch how this works. Want a 30 degree bend? No problem. Put it in there like normal. I'm sure this looks very familiar to you, but as I bend this up, notice this stop right here is going to prevent me from going past 30 degrees. So here we go. Bend, 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 and you don't even have to look. You can do this with your eyes closed. I feel it stopping, and that's the end of my bend. So it's impossible for me to overbend my 30. Here's my 30 degree bend. Couldn't be more perfect. I did that thing without even looking, and it doesn't maybe seem like that big a deal, but if you're doing this all day long and you're bending pipe after pipe after pipe, for one thing, it's gonna save time. You're not only gonna make better bends, but you're gonna do them quicker. I would say that where this thing really shines is with the offset bend because with an offset as you know it's not just one bend it's two bends and those bends have to be exactly the same so that's what i love about the hoppy bender is it allows us to make perfect repeatable bends so now i'm going to put another 30 degree in here and show you the offset so here i am making my second bend i've still got my stop set at 30 degrees so we go up Bend it up until it stops. You hear that click? And I'm done. And you got yourself a nice offset bend 30 degrees. And now I'm going to do a 90. Here's my 90 degree mark right here. No more using levels or adjacent walls to check your 90s. You can just do it in one motion and know that you got it right. Here comes the 90. There's my stop. Same deal. Just keep going till it clicks on you. There it is. There's a 90. Okay, how about a 45 degree bend? Let's uh, find the 45 on the shoe. Line it up. Off we go. I mean, geez, I could eat my lunch while I'm doing this. 45 degrees. If you flip the shoe around, you'll see some different kind of markings that you're not used to seeing on a bender. What is that all about? Hoppy Bender has included a pamphlet here on certain kinds of bends. If it turns out that you don't happen to know the common formulas we use for offsets, for saddles, and you don't have them in your brain, they've provided a sort of a cheat and some instructions on how to do these. For example, with the offset bend, go right through this chart and it'll say what's the depth of the bend you want, angle you're going to use, how far apart to put the bends, and it'll tell you which number to put your stop 
top on. And it's basically the same thing as the formulas we use, it's just a little less math. Okay, if you do a lot of bending in the field and you want to get faster, better, more precise, I highly recommend Hoppy Bender. It's from Racketeers. Enjoy. Oh, jeez, enjoy. Not a cup of coffee. Idiot.